Hello there, how are you doing? I hope that everybody is great. So uh, today we're going to talk about the technology and technological devices, but prior to uh, starting out today's topic, I'd like you to remember and make the connections between our prior lesson, which we taught you at the last session, and today's topic. So who would like to remind me about uh, today? The uh, yesterday's topic. Correct. We talked about innovations. So there are so many types of innovations. However, the most important thing related to the innovation, we mentioned that in technology field. So, uh, how are they related? Who is willing to? Uh, who would like to willing to to answer this question? How can you relate innovation with technology? They're just similar, uh, connected, just automatically connected, but we'd like to state their opinion. All right, Mary, can you answer this question? So you don't have to be shy. Okay, how about James? Yeah, correct. Innovation is the, uh, the novelty. And in the technology field, we see so many novel uh, Improvements. That's uh, that's a fair point. So uh, everybody has the mobile phone here, right? So I'd like you just the leader, class leader, just stand up, please. And uh, can you ask everyone about uh, whether or not they have certain technological devices uh, right now here? Okay, you have a smartwatch. Everybody has Android or iPhone. Right. So Mary, you uh, brought your laptop here. Is that an iPad? Yeah, you have the iPad here. Okay, uh, that's enough. <laughs> you may have so many technological devices and uh, we've we got to make it short. So uh, could you please tell me when, at what time, especially you use those technology, uh, technological devices? Is there any technophobe? Do you know what does technophobe mean? Technophobe. Phobe, you remember from uh, our prefix uh, and suffix lesson that phobe is related to the phobia. Technophobic person is a person who has the fear of technology, right? So, as I guess, uh, since we're teaching the most of our classes through online or any other uh, technological devices, there shouldn't be any techno technophobic person. Okay, you're not a technophobe. All right. Uh, so today we're going to talk specifically about the acronyms and nouns. Do you know what they are? Acronyms. Acronyms are the initial letters of each word within, uh, let's say, uh, se several group of words. For example, USA. Would you like to go to the U USA? This is an acronym for United States of America. Another most used acronym is United Kingdom or United Nations. And also we can find lots of technologically related acronyms. For example, in Google Ads, if you are using Google Advertisement or YouTube Advertisement, probably you are aware of PPC and CPC. What do they stand for? Stand for means that explain. Okay? PPC means pay-per-click and CPC stands for Cost per click. So when you uh, when you want to advertise the product, in that case, you have to think about the cost of the per, uh, every click, or how much you're going to pay for every click. Okay, these are essential for let's say the advertisement and the lucrativeness of your product or service that whatever you are trying to promote. Okay, acronyms, or we have. SEO, Search Engine Optimization. If you have a good website, 
blog content and it is, is endorsed by visuals or videos and other SEO related uh, technological uh, let's say content in that case your web page will be uh, will be revealed in the top of SERP another acronym uh, SERP sorry so search engine results page it's going to be right in the fr in the first page of Google or Yahoo Bing any other search engine so these are acronyms and uh, this is the first point that uh, I'd like to urge you to find five uh, five acronyms in terms of uh, technology right now you have a minute to uh, take your time to uh, through your uh, telephone just uh, search for such kind of uh, acronyms okay one minute is over so now we're going to talk about mnemonics mnemonics is also the, the same type of uh, let's say initial words of uh, several groups of words but this eases or facilitates the learning process for example for example we talked about homes do you remember when we talked about the border countries like canada and the united states there were great lakes do you remember the names of these lakes h is for Huron, o is for ontario m is for michigan lake e erie right s is for so uh now we got uh, an another uh, let's just have a look at the lesson plan now. So we also have the fanboys. We talked about fanboys, right? Fanboys. For and more because or okay. Uh, these are all that's fanboys and maybe this is so uh, this is so this is yet okay. These are for uh, connected words. When we want to connect two different ideas, for example, and connects additional points, and nor connects the opposing views, B connects the reason with the previous statement. Uh, you remember those uh, those points, right? So uh, we're going to think about mnemonics, but before talking about mnemonics, I would like you to just note this mnemonic generator okay mnemonic generator so uh, in num if you type google search in, in, into the google search uh, search box mnemonic generator probably the first website will come up in the search result page mnemonic generator.com okay so uh, through mnemonicsgenerator.com, you can generate mnemonics about anything. Okay, you have to just provide the details, and it's going to automatically tell you whatever the mnemonics, uh, mnemonics that we need to take into consideration, or we can make up. As, because uh, at the end of the lesson, I'm going to task you for uh, for uh, generating mnemonics about the technology-related issues that you chose at the uh, end of previous lesson in terms of innovation. So, uh, let's just erase this far. And now, we're going to talk about, uh, let's say, definitional, let's have a look. So today's grammatical point is passive voice. Okay, passive voice. So who would like to tell me uh, what was the normal sentence structure? Yeah, it is subject plus verb plus object. And we talked about the formation of the verb that we have the auxiliary or uh, helping word as well as main word. So when we want to create a passive voice, in that case we have to uh, take the object to the beginning of the sentence and then we add B plus we change main verb to verb 3 and B, there are two factors that, is, uh, that are connecting uh, that have importance in terms of uh, B one is that uh, whether the object is singular or plural and the second one is the tense of the main verb here 